Hi guys, it's me. So, my hands aren't feeling that great tonight, so I decided to do a video because God knows my mouth never stops working. So, many of my friends already know about this post, so you can skip over it. It's about my medication that I have to give myself in a shot um, and about how pissy I am about the insurance and the just ridiculous crap that's going on. So trigger warning for this, it does talk about needles and shots and injections. So if that bothers you, then you don't have to listen. And also a couple of disclaimers, I curse and my dogs bark and I don't edit because I'm lazy. So you're gonna hear all that, so great. So um, my doctor switched me from methotrexate injection, or excuse me, pills to injections once a week because the pills made me really, really sick and I threw up a lot and I just felt like crap all the time after I took it. So he switched me, switched me to injections. Um, it had to, of course, get approved by my insurance, even though I have a PPO that is sold to me as this great insurance. You can go anywhere, blah, 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 blah. So when, in the meantime, while that was waiting to be approved, he gave me some samples. So the sample box is called Resuvo. And is that backwards? I don't know, anyway, whatever. Um, and inside the Resuvo is um, the methotrexate, which is actually a very generic medication. Well, not very. It is a generic medication. It's been around for decades because um, it's been used to treat rheumatoid arthritis for a while. Uh, the only thing that is different about Resuvo is that it's an auto-inject pen that works a lot like an EpiPen. And what this does is... Somebody with RA, you know, you barely have to, this one's still locked. I just did, I didn't want to unlock it because I kept this one just in case it was my last sample from the doctor in case my shipment from my other, um, that you're going to see is late or something. But the, the methotrexate is in here. And so this comes off and then you barely push it. And what, you know, when you put it up against your, I have to do mine on my leg. So pretend this is my leg and you barely push it and it injects it into your skin. And it's kind of loud and kind of startling at first. You know, at first I was like, yeah, cool, give myself a shot, you know. And then it, well, first of all, a few times I did it, it was really kind of weird because I was like, holy shit, I'm giving myself a shot. But, um, so I did it and I bruised and I thought, well, maybe I'm not doing it right. But I think it's what it does is I was pushing it down too much on my skin and it was creating like a suction. But it doesn't hurt, whatever. So, this is all plastic, plastic. So I got the quote, so first of all, my doctor had to fight for my insurance to pay for this particular one, Resuvo, because it is an auto inject pen and they say that it's not necessary. That there's the vial and V-I-A-L, sorry, I'm Southern, I'm tired and my words are stringing together. Vial option of methotrexate with a regular needle is just as effective and the auto inject pen is not needed So he actually did I have an awesome doctor dr. Press in San Diego He fought with them to say, you know, she has RA. What if she can't draw the medicine? and so he um, well, Obviously we lost so now the biggest bitch I have about this and I'm very, I don't want anybody to think that I'm not grateful. I do have insurance and my job does, um, a, uh, you know, offer us insurance at a fee, monthly fee out of my pocket that is probably a lot better than a lot of Americans. And I don't want them to think that I'm bitching about that. What I'm bitching about is pharmaceutical companies and how ridiculous they are. So for a three month supply, um, I have Express Scripts, for, so for a three-month supply of Resuvo, my copay was $1,386, right? So the medication is right here, right? Just that little bitty bit. So I would get 12 to 13, depending on how many weeks are in three months. So now, because obviously I can't afford $1,386, it's ridiculous, um, I now get this in a vial. So this is the methotrexate, the same that's in here, and I get two of these because it's two so you know four weeks four to five weeks depending on how many are in a month so this will give me up to five injections and I get four needles and four to five needles and um it's three dollars and 58 cents 
for three months. So the only thing that's different is this plastic contraption that's supposed to be helpful. So I was grateful that my doctor, while they waited for my insurance to cover it, I got, you know, samples. So it was almost two months. Well, it's like five weeks, I guess, of samples that I got. I didn't have to pay anything. But, you know, I'm really just kind of concerned about, you know, I can afford this $4 or whatever it is for three months. You know, there's people that they might not be able to afford that. And what if they can't give themselves a shot? And what, you know, I, I mean, there might be a time when I can't do my shot. And um, my best friend Elizabeth, of course, we went to WonderCon a couple weeks ago. She's amazing. And I showed her how to, I had to give myself a shot while I was there. Um, so I showed her how to do it. She paid attention. And she told me if I ever needed help drawing it out of the vial. Because you can see it's very small. So somebody that hands hurt, your, your hands hurt, you can't really, you know, grip it really well. So I have like, have to like prop it up. And sometimes when my hands hurt, prop it up and then get the needle in there and pull it back. You know, you've seen people draw um, medicine out of a vial. But anyway, so that was my biggest bitch about the whole thing. So if you've already heard this story at work, because God knows I bitched about it enough. Um, I'm sorry if you heard it again, but to the person in Antarctica that follows me, bless you, and um, the person in Russia that follows me, bless you, you can hear the story. So, um, I just feel like that there's a lot of things that we as consumers, or us as Americans, we Americans can do to, you know, try to make change happen for people that are less fortunate than us or in the same boat as us you know I'm a um, person that works and I'm the only one that works and you know there are people that are better off than me there are people who are worse off than me but honestly I don't feel like that health care should be something that a person has to worry about I'm I'm either going to eat feed my children I'm, I'm not mine but other people or I'm going to take my medicine that should not have to be an option so I'm going to go on April 14th and go to downtown San Diego and walk in the March for Science because science is important. The more medications and, um, you know, treatments that we come up with, hopefully we'll find cure for diseases. Science is very important, even though right now it may, it is not as important to um, some of our political leaders today. It is very important because the only way that, especially for my disease, the only way I will ever feel 100% is if there is a cure for my disease. And even with all of this medicine and the, let's see, one, two, three, four, nine other pills, nine other medications that I take a day, some of those twice a day, I still have pain. I still have side effects. And I'm very grateful I'm not bedridden. I'm able to go and do things. Um, I only have to use a cane every now and then. I did take a nasty, nasty fall downtown San Diego today and um, kind of scared me. It shook me up a little bit, but everybody at work was really nice about it. And, you know, they they could visibly tell that I was shaking. It's scary when you lose control of your body. So, um, I just feel like that um, I'm in a good place. But I think that we can all do more to really help science and medicine and to lift each other up to, even though we might not be able to afford to pay for somebody's medicine, we can sign a petition, we can go and march, we can, you know, write our congressman, write our councilman, write whoever our governor, we can write our president, he won't listen, but whatever. Um, and do what we can to, to make sure okay that's daisy she's very protective how dare somebody walk down the road um you know she's very to make sure that you know people have what they need so anyway so i'll quit showing you the needles and i hope that everyone is doing well and i really want to send a um thank you to everyone that supports me and is always looking out for me and the people that know me, even when I'm trying to hide that I'm scared or that I hurt or that I'm tired 
or I'm cranky and bitchy and all those good things. So anyway, thank you guys. Love you all. Bye.